Hey Taurus, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your October love and sex messages. So disclaimer, there's going to be a lot of sexual, filthy, nasty talk and um, profanity. So if you're around children or if you're not into those type of things, just, just uh, I'm just warning you right now. That's what it is. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Okay. Ooh. Two of them already came out straight off the but we have healing family issues. It is safe for you to love. What one do we have here? Express your love. All right. So healing family issues. I feel like this could be, if you're in a marriage, you could be working on your, your relationship, your marriage to make it better, healing it. If you guys have, you know, a family together, if you have children involved and there's kids involved, this could be you really taking the time to uh heal things sorry i'm like trying to fix my camera yeah trying to make things work okay um we have it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and, and receive the highest energy of all it's safe for you to love it's safe for you guys to heal and make it work this could also mean that if let's say you're single for my singles it could represent that you meet somebody who helps you heal from past hurts past traumas and everything that you've experienced with this with the, the person that you were dealing with prior to that so and then it's it's pretty much telling you it's safe for you to love you can let your guard down a little bit this person's not going to hurt you so then we have express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture so if you caught feeling for someone and you you really want to express and uh, Show them how you feel. Tell them how you feel. It's telling you to go for it. The angels the angels have your back. They're guiding you to it. Um, they're protecting you. See how the, there's little angels flying around here where it says it's safe for you to love? That's because, um, yeah, you're being divinely protected. So there you go. Let's get some cards here from the Surrender. The Power of Surrender cards. I think that's what it's called. Taurus and love in October. We're going to start with the love aspect. Hmm, look at that. Surrender to trust. Surrender frustration. And surrender to spirit. So surrender to trust. Especially it's right on top of the healing card okay it says trust yourself in your decisions don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path okay surrender to to trusting that the universe has a bigger plan for you okay they're going to bring someone in that that's going to heal you you are being healed by the universe right now as we speak you just have to have faith and trust trust that everything will be good no matter what path you ch take the path that you chose was the path that was meant to be chosen and that's that okay there is no right or wrong path it's based on decisions then you have surrender frustration that's on top of the it is safe for you to love so it has we it says frustration doesn't open any doors the key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath center yourself and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly okay don't be quick to you know be stubborn i know my tourists are very stubborn don't be quick to get mad or get frustrated easily. This is pretty much telling you don't do that because you could be blocking um, an opportunity to, to heal it. You could be blocking or missing an opportunity to resolve it in a right manner. So surrender to frustration. We have surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. Okay, this is pretty much like telling you um, surrender to, not only surrender to spirit, but, you know, don't be so quick to try to control things, to try to be very controlling and stuff like that. So pretty much surrender to spirit. It's, it's allowing yourself to 
you know, once you've done everything, once you've, you know, expressed your love and, and show this person how you feel, told them how you felt, now it's time for you to surrender to spirit. You see? Turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. You see that? Okay. There you go. Now we're going to get the power of love oracles. See what comes out. Oh, that one came right out. We have evolution. Detachment. And satisfaction. Okay, so let's start with the satisfaction card. We have you let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. You see that? You let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. Do things based on your satisfaction, not anybody else's. Okay? Then we have detachment. You are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer so serve your highest good of love. That's good. That's the detachment. You're surrendering to frustration. It is safe for you to love. Okay, releasing the old ways of thinking. This is releasing the, the wall that you built up. Always feeling, you know, like you need have your guard up the whole time. You know, feeling frustrated or whatever. This is a detachment of your old ways. Then we have evolution. You realize that obstacles are merely lessons on your path to love. Funny how that came on top of the surrender to spirit and behind that is express your love. <laughs> so perfect how they just come out like that. All right, let's get um, some sexual cards here. Taurus. For sex. Ooh, wow. Five of Wands. And the sexual deck, the Five of Wands, represents feeling very aggressive, being aggressive in bed. Someone likes it rough. Someone likes the spanking, the pulling, the. You know, all that stuff. <laughs> Maybe suffocating someone. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just saying that because that's happening there. Someone could like, you know, literally taking out their frustrations in bed. And there's nothing wrong with that. The reason why I say that is because I saw the surrender to frustration. So it's kind of like someone's taking out their frustrations in bed. You know, getting very... Taking it rough. Someone likes to get it rough. Sexual healing releasing when you're mad or irritated having that sex for release it's it's good right mm -hmm. and then we have the knight of swords okay this is someone trying to sneak away and get that booty call or they're lying saying that they're gonna go do something but reality they're just lying because they're gonna go and get it on with someone else you see how that girl is trying to stop him like where the fuck do you think you're going i know where you're going don't lie to me you got caught this is someone who has been caught red-handed okay someone who has been you know lying to the other person about where they're going and what they're doing because you know they probably found somebody else yep this is someone this could be somebody leaving a relationship for somebody else because they're not happy making their choice and this could also represent somebody coming in to communicate how they feel okay take it as it resonates come oh yeah express your love and it could literally mean with the the knight of swords could mean that someone's coming in to express their love for you to tell you how they really feel Okay, I like to say different scenarios because there's more than one scenarios that are happening all the time. So then we have, oh, the strength card. Look at that. With the strength card in the sexual deck, this represents someone who knows how, ooh, who has stamina sexually, who can go on for hours without getting tired, who can still stay hard no matter what or still stay wet. Like this, you're dealing with someone who has strength. If you're male right now watching, this is you who knows how to go long or the person you're dealing with wants that 
that power, that sexual power, because you could be dealing with an info or you just have that strength to go on and on without, you know, feeling, getting weak down there or anything like that. So you have stamina, you have strength down there. That's good. Whew. Then we have the world reversed. So someone's not done. This is, you know, unfinished business to do with someone that you're sleeping with. You're still not done, you know, fucking around with them because the sex is good. The affection is good. The oral is good. And you're like, I don't want to end it with this person yet. You guys still have unfinished business to take care of. Woo! And this card flew right out. And I'm not taking it. Because it didn't fall on the table. It fell on my lap. All right, so, wow, funny. Same fucking card, too, and I put it in, and it came out the same way. <laughs> what are the odds of that? Yeah, five of cups reversed. Someone is, okay, let's say you are in a relationship where you felt like, you know, it was, you know, a little bored, or this could be, you know, someone literally regretting something that they did in the past. Okay, you're, you're healing from that. And this could also represent someone who is, who has let go of, you know, someone that they lost because they found somebody new and you're happier with that. So that could pretty much be what it is. You know, it is what it is. That's funny. Five and five. That's, I didn't even meant to put that there. Five and five. Five of wands and the five of cups. 55, you could be dealing with someone who's 55 years old. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, you never know. I have some older folks watching me too. Ain't nothing wrong with that, especially if you like to get freaky. Shit, that's when you know you got a good thing. Okay? I don't care how old you are. You could be 60, 70 years old and you are you still have a sexual drive. That's, that's living your best life, baby. <laughs> All right, we have the sun reversed. So this could represent someone who's not happy sexually in their relationship. They want something more exciting. They want someone's craving something more passionate, more affectionate. So you could be looking for it somewhere else or you could be contacting your partner telling them that you're not happy um, and you need to spice things up a bit and you're not getting the, the amount of sex that you want. And if you're single, this could just mean that you're not happy uh, sleeping around anymore. You're trying to settle down and, and you want to be in a committed relationship. It could also mean that the people that you've been sleeping around with have not been sexually fulfilling you. You're just sleeping around just for the fuck of it. And it's not, it's, you're just not happy. All right, we have the, yeah, as I'm saying that, the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Someone who's not getting the satisfaction that they, they've been craving, you know, it's it's not there. So let me get the other, ooh, let me get the other sexual deck here. This is the Monaro one. My, wow. And half my deck just fell down, so excuse me while I grab it. Slippery little suckers. Looks like two landed on here, so we have the five of earth reversed. Ooh, a lot of my Tauruses, it's been a long time since you guys had sex. And now you're, if someone comes in and you're finally going to have all the sex that you can, all the sex that you want, and it's going to be amazing, okay? And the upright represents someone who, who hasn't had sex in a long time or is just not sexually active. Reversed, it means you're finally active, sexually active, finally. <laughs> we have the devil reverse. So, yeah, the devil reverse that landed on the sun card reverse with the ten of pentacles reverse. This is getting out of a toxic relationship. Relationship. Some of you are letting go and trusting that, you know, it's time for you to let go of this person that's not good for you. They're not emotionally fulfilling you. The sex is not good. It's boring. It's whack. And it's just very toxic. It's very one-sided. So I feel like you're letting that go, whoever this resonates with that. Oh 
irritate when they fall on my lap, but okie dokie. And I'm not taking them because it's not one. All right. Two of water. Look at that. Two of cups. This is, oh man, this is like getting together with someone over and over again to, you know, to going on dates, having sex, eating, living their best life, Netflix and chill, Hulu and chill. Um, what's that other website potlucker you get like the free movies and stuff on there anyways this is the two of cups this is like getting together for love reunion um romanticizing you see unfinished business with the world reversed someone's coming in to express how they feel and then you guys are just saying cheers and in, in the name of love wow Someone who is very lovey-dovey, too. Then we have the Six of Air reverse. Six of Swords reverse in this deck. Um, it could mean that you are... Oh, man, you could be fantasizing about someone. Or a water or a Aquarius Labor Gemini could be fantasizing about you sexually. And maybe you've been playing a little hard to get or you've been... You know, waiting a little bit so that, you know, before you slept with them. So now I feel like the urges are going to be coming to you very strongly and you're just going to give in. The time has come where you're like, you know what? It's time for us to do it. Let's fuck. <laughs> what I'm hearing. <laughs> Let's just do it. Three of air, three of swords reverse. This is, you know, speaking about healing. I'm telling you, this person that's coming in, someone is going through some healing this person is, if you've been stagnant in, in sex, you know, and in love, they're going to come in and give you that sexual healing, okay? Because in this deck, the three of swords reverse, it's like, literally, <laughs> you're, look at in the upright, how she's just holding on to her punani. This is like hurting down there, okay? Someone hurt you down there, they were a little too big or too rough, and you're like, oh my god, I need a, a whole week to heal, <laughs> reverse this is like someone wanting it rough someone wanting to get that sexual healing and someone wanting to wake up to you know walk side to side that's all i'm saying <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that ain't nothing wrong with that look what the card that came out the ace of fire look at that eat your heart out this is how you want to be you want to wake up like this Ripped out their heart, took a bite out of it, and now you are just exhausted. All that sex you had, the ace of fire. This is a passionate relationship coming towards you, or you could be in one or craving one. And it's just going to leave you like, damn, with your mouth open. You see that? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's pull some cards from the Lover's Oracle. Playfulness. It says laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. Sexual healing, baby, is good for you. Some of that Marvin Gaye stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you're going to be playing, role playing, <laughs> eat your heart out, <laughs> spicing it up, you little spicy McChicken. All right, then we have balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Gotta have that balance, right? Because when you're imbalanced, all kinds of fuckery starts to happen. Ooh, soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So if you're single and you haven't had anybody in a while, you can manifest them just by visualizing them next to you visualizing them touching you caressing you being inside of you feeling the pleasure of you guys being together you will be drawing that person towards you believe me it's the power of manifestation all right let's see passion passion fell right on top of the ace of air here look at that the ace of fire i'm sorry passion yes that's sexy it says a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. 
Oh yes, Taurus. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's the shit I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, Taurus, this was your message. Please give it a thumbs up. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Love you guys so very much. And I'll see you in your next video. Ta-ta!